Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using SAP Workflow for Approval Processes by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of using workflow for approval processes. It is one of the most important concept that we use in case of our workflow for approval process. So what are workflow? Workflow are nothing but uh, they are used a technology in SAP, which is mainly used for automating the business process. So the, let's take an example for it so that we can understand this concept in more detail. So suppose you work in any, or any, any organization and uh, you must will have a reporting manager whom you will be reporting. So your, the responsibility of your reporting manager is to take care of, of update of all your progress and uh, to provide it to you, the HR team. So suppose you want to apply for a leave request and uh, how, how it will be done there. So you will create a workflow and uh, the assigned agent for your workflow is suppose whenever you created a workflow what sap does is it generates a work item for it and uh, this work item will be assigned to the agent and who will be the agent for it your reporting manager will be the agent for it and this workflow will be assigned to your reporting manager and what you will do here is you will basically you can pass your name, your details and the reason why you want to apply for this leave. So all these things you can assign to your reporting manager and what your reporting manager will do is based on that he will decide whether or not he, will, he should allow you the leave request. So he will assign the reason to your reporting manager and based on that he will decide that whether or not he will should assign you the that particular leave and if you will approve your leave you will get a mail in the response that hi user your leave request has been acknowledged or approved by your reporting manager and if he is denying it or or he is rejecting your leave so based on that you can again receive the mail uh, that your leave request has been rejected so that you can reapply it or you can replan your leave. So let's see our SAP system and just what we are required to do is simply we are required to go to SWDD transaction code and this is the workflow builder here so just click on this create button so this is the mainly the workflow screen using which we can design any workflow now see what are the various properties of it here we can see we have got navigation area where various steps have been given the first step of every workflow is always workflow started and the last step in case of every workflow will be workflow completed and in between we can see we have got the undefined double click for new step here when you will double click here you can see we will get a pop-up screen or you see we have got very two ways here either you can click here and right click to go and go to create button so you will get this pop-up screen and here we have the various step types and whatever the steps that you type you will select here and whatever the step that you will create here it will be added automatically in this navigation area under this steps folder and these are the various step types that we have available in case of our workflow which we can use for various kind of requirement. Then we can also see we have got here various sections using which we can perform various things in our workflow. Uh, here you can see the step type that I have already shown you. Then we have got the workflow container. And these are the containers where you can create various kind of container like variable or multi-line container where you can store multiple records at a time. So you can create any kind of container and what you can do is you can pass your details to your reporting manager using it. So my current requirement is I have to create a workflow for leave request approval. So what I will do here, the first thing that I am required to do here, I have to create a user decision. And this user decision will be assigned to whom? It will be assigned to my reporting manager. So what I will do here, I will create a user decision. Just double click on it. 
and you can see the screen of our user decision step type. So here we have got the various parameters. In the title, give a suitable title. So I'm giving you approve or reject, leave request, leave request. So approve or reject, leave request. Then we have got here multiple parameters. And see, just uh, click here and go to the F4 button. So whenever you will go to this F4 button, we can see the container option here. So even whatever the container that you will create here, we will see it will be assigned here and you can use it from here on. So you can simply use this container to pass the parameters or to in this parameter to pass the data to your reporting manager, like uh, what is the name of the employees? So what is your, suppose you send this workflow and the name of your, uh, your name or your details has not been mentioned in this particular workflow. So how is the, Reporting manager will judge that who, which user requires a leave. So these are the things that we need to understand. Now in the expression, I'm selecting here the, ex the workflow initiator. So this user decision will be assigned to my me, myself. Also, we can see we have got this user option. So using it, you can then give the name of your reporting manager here. So that whenever we will trigger this workflow, it will be sent to your reporting manager directly. All right. Now see, we have got the various decision text here. The first decision text I'm going to give is approve, approve, leave. And the outcome name I want is approve, leave. Then the second decision that I want to give here is reject, leave and the outcome name will be again reject leave so these are the two decision tags uh, that uh, i have given here and all these decisions will be assigned to whom it will be assigned to the agent and which agent here i'm giving the name of the agent as my myself so this particular user for decision is going to be assigned to my me only so here, if you will give, if I will give the name of any other user, it will be assigned to that particular user only. Okay, I'll just click on this OK button, and you can see we have got these two decision approve leave or reject leave. Just first click the save button for our workflow. So workflow, and I'm giving the first I've given the abbreviation and the name here. Then just click on this OK button, assign the package and transport request. So all these things that I've assigned here is the leave. Uh, reject leave and approve leave we can see here then the next thing that we need to understand is the decision that we are going to uh, the, the decision that your reporting manager will take what will happen after so suppose your reporting manager has approved leave the reporting manager has approved your leave then what it will happen that mail should be triggered here so just double click here and just uh, sorry just right click here go to create button and uh, see we have got a send mail option so double click on it and here again we can see we have got this expression so or you can directly use the email address option to receive the mail or you can use this organizational object so i'm for simply selecting the workflow initiator only because i am showing this as a testing purpose so this one is nothing but my approved leave in the subject I'm giving approved leave. And here I will give the details. So hi user, hi user, your leave, leave request has been accepted by your reporting manager all right now just what we are required to do is just click on this ok button assign the abbreviation and name again assign the package and transport request so see we have got this another step here in the navigation area so in case of approve leave i'm going to receive this mail then in case of reject leave what is going to happen so right click on it go to create button then I'll go for this uh, send mail and uh, again I'm selecting this as workflow initiator 
and you can if you want you can give the name of the user or you can directly assign the email address here in case of subject i am giving it as uh, reject leave uh, reject leave and here i am assigning i user your leave request leave request has been rejected by your reporting manager manager so it is manager then i'll click on this ok button assign the abbreviation and name then assign the package and transport request again my another step has been added in the navigation area yeah. so the more why all the workflow of this all the work of this workflow is done so i'll simply click on this activate button to check any error the workflow definition saved and activated successfully so now see what is happening here i have created this workflow so as soon as i will click on this execute button what it will happen here this particular user decision and whom i have given the name i have given the name to workflow initiator myself so this will be assigned to no other than but myself only but if you will give the name of the user some other user it will be assigned to that particular user only and whatever the decision that he is going to make if he is selecting this clicking on this approve button he will receive this mail this user is going to receive the mail and this workflow will be completed but if he is rejecting it again the user is going to receive the mail and the workflow is completed so just click on this workflow here now if you will go to this business workplace you can see in the inbox uh okay just wait for it okay no issue just click on this execute one here and we can see approve or reject leave request so if user is going to approve it here we can see the status in case of workflow log the so leave has been approved and it is completed or if work user is rejecting leave we can see in the workflow log here the uh, approval leave re reject the result is reject leave and the workflow status has been completed so this is how what we have seen here is we can use the concept of this particular workflow for approval purposes and that is why workflow becomes one of the most important modules in case of our sap using which we can automate our business process what we can also mention here is that suppose if your manager is on leave and he do not receive this your mail so i can make it uh, i can use this for automating the business process and the business of this workflow the leave will be acknowledged after some particular time if your manager will not approve it or reject it okay so this was all about workflow for approval process thank you very much mm -hmm.